hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for coming and i'm really really glad that you guys are here so in today's video i'm going to be telling you how i got my nursing job in the icu if you've been watching my channel for a while you know that i actually didn't go through the normal application process and i got my job at an event so if you want to know how that happened just stick around and i'll tell you guys all about it so as most of you know i used to work in a nursing home since i came to the uk and i worked there for about two years but i had always had an interest to go and try more things like maybe work in the icu or work in a and e or other specialized areas and i was really really keen on icu so i applied for the icu course but at the time i didn't know that i had to meet some requirements like for instance i had to have worked in icu for a year I needed to be working in ICU while going through the course. I needed to have like lots of competencies signed and all that. So when I applied, I got a rejection letter. And so I decided I will be going just to talk to employers and see if I can get an offer in an ICU. So while I was still in the nursing home, I would attend nursing events. Some were being held in London and some were being held in like nearby cities or even online. So I used to go to such events. And one time there was this event held by Nursing Times. It's called Nursing Careers Live. I had been on one before, but it was like a small one with maybe 20 exhibitions, like 20 different employers talking to people. But this one was huge and I think it was lasting for three days. So I decided to just go on one of the day. It's free and there's usually seminars. You can go and talk to employers. Everyone there is trying to get staff to work for them. Just asking, do you want to work with us? Are you interested in joining us? You know, things like that. So I walked around and I talked to a lot of them and then I attended a couple of seminars and I remember I was meeting a friend there. So before she got there, I decided to do some more walking around and I came across this stand where there were people advertising for ICU jobs in London. So I decided, you know what, let me just go there and ask these guys what they are looking for and if they would, you know, accept me to work for them. I met this lady who is actually my current manager and uh, she asked me where I work and I told her I've been working in a nursing home and I've never been in a hospital setting in the UK. So she just asked me, why do you want to leave? Are they treating you bad? What's going on? Why do you want to make that change from the nursing home? So I told her that I, I love working in the nursing home and honestly I did. And I enjoyed like talking to my residents, just the daily thing, but it was getting a little bit boring for me. And I felt like I wanted more. I wanted to explore more. And I love being in challenging environment, an environment where I will be like, learning new things all the time and I will be constantly challenged. It's not like I will be coming and doing the same thing every day. So I felt that I needed that change. And then she asked me if I had ever worked in ICU before and I said I did work in a, a newborn unit back home. It was kind of like ICU but I didn't expect it to be similar to the ICU setting here. So she said that she could actually tell me more about that if I was really interested. And all I did was ask her, do you guys sponsor or do tier two sponsorships? Because that's the only thing that I want to know, because if you don't, then there's no way I can work for you. Because to be in the UK, I need to have a sponsor. So she talked to the HR and they said, yeah, we definitely do that. So she said, oh yeah, then definitely you can join us if you want. And she said, we're going to be doing interviews. <laughs> and I was like, just let me know when the interviews are. And I will ask like for a day off and I will definitely show up for the interview. And then she looked at me and she said, we are doing the interview now. <laughs> so I was like, what? I'm not ready. I didn't come prepared to do an interview. I don't even know what they ask when it comes to ICU interview questions. I started panicking and she was like, no, no, just relax. You, me and one of my colleagues are going to have like a, a discussion with you. Let's have a good conversation and we'll see at the end of it all what's, you know, what's going to happen. So I said, you know what? 
it's fine. I'm not losing anything. It's not like I had the job and then I'm going to lose it after this discussion. So I said, okay, fine, let's do the interview. So in the careers live, uh, which I didn't know that people actually go there and do interviews. So downstairs they had set up like interview rooms. So she and one of her colleagues who is like my other manager, we went down into one of the rooms. And the interview started guys i don't even remember the exact questions that they asked me but it was more of a discussion of where are you from how long have you been here like my job history where i had worked before in kenya and they seemed to be happy with it despite the fact that i was working in a nursing home because in my mind and according to a few people i had talked to i needed to go to work in a ward just so i can like take the next step to go to ICU. So we just continued with the discussion and they asked me again why I wanted to move from the nursing home, how my relationship with my colleagues at my current you know, workplace is. And yeah, after that they were like, uh, we're gonna contact you, but I think you have the job, but you will have to come to our hospital because this is ICU, you're gonna need to do like a math exam. And you will of course be bringing your documents for submission. And guys, that, that was it, to be honest. That's how I got my job. After that, I, of course, had to go to the website to see what documents they needed uh, for me to submit. And then I had to go to the hospital now, to the unit. So they gave me a math exam, which I don't even want to talk about that <laughs> because it didn't really go well. It was the drug calculations uh, for ICU setting where you calculate uh, things like inotropes in mics per kg per hour, stuff like that, which I wasn't really prepared for. Um, and then they also did like another small interview, which was similar to the one that I did before, but I felt like they were just asking me the same uh, questions as before. So yeah, that is the story of how I got my job in the ICU because I've had a couple of people asking me which websites I applied on, but yeah, that is how I got it. So I will be leaving a link for the careers live event by Nursing Times in the description box. During the pandemic, they started holding their careers live online and I remember I shared a couple of these on my Instagram or Facebook because it was an online event. People back home or people who were not in the UK were able to join in. And I actually know one person who got a job offer from that. She's still in the process, she's not here, but she got offered the job through careers live. So. I, if I were you guys, I would give it a try if I'm trying to look for a job or if you're in the UK and you're interested in changing a job or changing your job to something else. So these careers live are not only held in London, they are held like in other cities like Brighton, Manchester, up in Newcastle, they are everywhere. All you have to do is go to the website and check uh, the location nearest to you and then plan and attend. I'm sure you will not regret it. Even if you're not looking for a job, you're just looking to know uh, maybe how to further your career, how to go back to school, just looking for offers for nurses and it's a fun event. You meet so many people, uh, so many people with lots of experience. It's also good for students who haven't even started working so it's a really good event and I would recommend it for all nurses to attend at least once just so you can see the benefits that come with it. So that is all I'm going to talk about today. I will be doing another video where I will be talking about ICU interview questions because I was very confused in the first interview I had. I will be asking a couple of my friends what questions they got and I will compile them and I will do a video on that. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!